In this episode, we focus on another bare knuckle star turned boxer. How good was Jem Smith? Jem Smith was born on January 21, 1863, in Shoreditch, London, England. Smith stood 5 feet 8 and a half inches. He had an aggregate weight of 186 pounds for his career. Smith's boxing career spanned from 1884 to 1918. He had nine wins, five losses, and zero draws. Four of his victories were by knockout. He had a winning percentage of 56 and a knockout percentage of 29. Smith is most associated with the heavyweight division, though he'd be more around light heavyweight and cruiserweight by today's standards. Jem Smith was a tough and rugged brawler with a stocky frame. He could dish and take punishment. He started as a wrestler and bare-knuckle fighter before transitioning to boxing under the Marquess of Queensbury rules. Though the number of boxing matches he had was limited, he did find domestic success with the transition. After racking up five straight wins, Smith would get his first legitimate and most challenging career test on November 11, 1899. He took on a guy regarded as the best heavyweight in the world by many, then-colored world heavyweight champion, the Black Prince, Peter Jackson. The fight went down in London, England. The Commonwealth British heavyweight title was on the line. Amongst those in attendance was none other than John Schulte Douglas, 9th Marquess, of Queensbury, the man who backed rules we now use as the basis for boxing. The fight started fast with both men exchanging heavy blows, but Jackson smiled and shrugged off anything significant coming from Smith. This angered Smith, who found himself gassed at the end of the first round. Jackson was on the offensive to start the second as he looked to take advantage of Smith's being gassed, landing repeatedly. To prevent himself from being knocked out, Smith rushed Jackson and hip-tossed him to the ground. The fight and purse were immediately awarded to Jackson via disqualification. An angry Smith challenged Jackson to take off the gloves and fight bare-knuckled, to which, as quoted by the Evening World, he would have taken the thrashing of his life. The two men eventually shook hands and moved on, Jackson's sights on John L. Sullivan. Two fights later, Smith would get a shot at the English heavyweight title on July 27, 1891, when he met undefeated Ted Pritchard, then English middleweight champion. Smith got to the smaller Pritchard early, dazing him before the first round ended. Smith seemed to be gassed by the time the second round commenced, and Pritchard stepped on the gas offensively, the two men both falling over each other twice. Both threw all caution to the wind in the third round, and Pritchard got the better of Smith, dominating the round sending him to his back on the canvas. Smith could no longer continue handing Pritchard the victory. In another fight billed as an English heavyweight title match, Smith and Pritchard would meet again on November 26, 1895. Smith would knock Pritchard out in the second round to become the English heavyweight champion. Smith's last notable fight would come on June 15, 1903, when he was knocked out by former and the first colored world heavyweight champion, the Black Thunderbolt, C.C. Smith. Jem Smith would have an additional past prime matchup in 1918, securing a win. Smith's not a significant name mentioned amongst the top boxers and had a relatively short boxing career. Still, he made a name in the sports world when combining his accomplishments as a wrestler and bare-knuckle fighter. Smith faced one Hall of Famer. His most notable fights were against Hall of Famer Peter Jackson, Ted Pritchard, and C.C. Smith. Jem Smith died on September 10, 1931, at 68. He lives on in boxing through his connection with having faced some of boxing's great heavyweights of the late 1800s.